Welcome to Macaulay Park, Belfield, for the County Junior A Ladies Football Final, the Homestead Junior County A Final. Uh, contesting the final today is Glyn Barntown and the Starlights. Uh, the Glyn Barntown team lines out as follows. Jasmine Gore is in goal. The full back line is Emma Cullen, Jane Duggan and Rachel Goff. The half back line is Rachel Murphy, Josie Mullen and Neve Cogley. Middle of the field is Lara O'Shea, the captain, and Sarah Carroll. The half forward line is Jane Murphy, Mary Carroll and Sophie O'Leary. And the full forward line is Ellie Stafford, uh, Lala Stafford and Rebecca Fanning. Substitutes are uh, Emma Kenny, Cora Rowe, Eva Arters, Sarah Sweetman, Neve Walsh, JJ, JK McNamara, Sinead Barn, Anna Sinnott, Alana Fuscardi Wallace, Anita Dennehy, Ella Merna, Ashling Marr, Darisa Crosby, Elva Rafferty, Robin O'Connor. And the mentors are Aidan Miley, Callum O'Shea, David Ferreter, Aoife Duggan, and Grania Barron. The Starlights team lines out as follows. In goal is Aaron Carley. The full back line is Anna Kavna, Megan O'Connor and Aaron Cal. The half back line is Shifra Fenlon, Captain Anna Flood and Ava Farrell. In middle of the field is Leah Kidd and Anne Curran. The half forward line is Aoife McRae, Nicola Davitt and uh, Amelia Furlong. The full forward line is Ella Cosgrave, Emer Bourne and Leah Walsh. Subs are Bonnie Kennard, Ella Kennard, Saoirse Dwyer, Megan O'Rourke, Kira O'Connor, Evelyn Ryan, Kayleigh Cahoe, Alina Statti. Manager is Ronan Furlong, physio is Joe Cullen and the mentors are Ashling Carley, Rory O'Connor and Maeve Figgis. Referee for today's game is uh, Mick Lanigan. I have Kira Scallon here beside me, a very experienced lady in camogie and in football. Kira at the moment is the county selector for the ladies intermediate football county team. So Kira. Are you looking forward to a good, a good competitive game here today in the County Junior A final? Yeah, look at Pat. Um, I think it'll be close enough. In, if when you look at the round robin stages, um, Glynn did beat Starlights in the round robin stages on the scoreline of seven thirteen to six seven, a difference there of nine points. Um, Glynn actually, interestingly enough, the four semi finalists in this division, they all came out of the one group. You had Glynn played Ballyhogue in a semi final and beat them last Tuesday night while Starlights uh, beat Ballygarrett there about two weeks ago. Um, again, interestingly enough, Starlights actually didn't win any of their group uh, stages, but I would put that down to, to be fair, they seem to have got stronger as the competition went on and they've gathered, you know, they, they, I'd say they played their best team, what is their best team in the semi-final against that Ballygarrett and they played really, really well. On the other side, Glynn last Tuesday night, they, they started exceptionally well, they kind of went out of it for a spell in the second half but unfortunately Ballyhole couldn't capitalise on that um, and they showed their true worth both teams have some excellent excellent players um, but I do like to know and Starlight's obviously have an advantage playing on their home ground here for a county final that's a big advantage for them but Glynn won't be afraid of that you know they, they, they've came through they've been commanding they haven't had a loss at all this year so I think it'll be a tough game and it'll be interesting yeah, and uh, I just uh, said that uh, Mick Lanigan was the referee. Uh, Ken Rawson is actually the referee, so apologies there. Ken is refereeing today's Junior A final. So it's a beautiful day here in Belfield. Pitch is in excellent conditions. The sun is shining and there's not much of a breeze. So uh, conditions are conducive to for a very good game of football. So it's Starlights and Glyn Barntown. Both teams are, are looking for their first ever County Junior A titles. So the referee throws in the ball. The ball is... The, the game is on. So Starlight's on the attack. Number nine there is um, Sarah. Number nine is Nay Curran. For, Nae you know, Curran. Nae, Nae obviously is the county senior camogie captain as well. She plays her camogie with Euler de Balloch, but also is equally adept at the big ball game as well. And Nae Curran there, she's so on through with the ball. Nae takes a kick, a good ball, but the ball the goalkeeper there, uh, Jasmine Gore, collects it safely and kicks it back out the field. But it's the uh, Lala Stafford there. or uh, Emer Byrne Emer Byrne Byrne for Starlight. One, yeah. uh, corner forward there now is... Uh, Ella, Ella Cosgrave, yeah. so Starlight supplying all the pressure here, uh, Anna, Anna Corrin there again, Anna starting very well for the Starlight, she's uh, fouled there as she takes the kick for goal, so it's going to be a... Yeah, it will be important for Glynn to get a handle on Anna early in the game, because if she settles into her stride at all, she will dictate, and um, she was excellent here in the semi-final, uh, the last day against Ballygar, she dictated everything from the middle of the field, so for, for from Glynn's point of view, they have two good girls there, and Lara Shane, and Sarah Carroll in the middle of the field, so... You know, it will be interesting as the game develops. So free now, it's about 25 metres out. Yeah, Nicola David is, is on the freeze for So Starlights. the blondie haired Nicola David to take this free. So will she put the first score on the board for the Starlights? It's, the goalkeeper gets her hands to it, gets it out. So uh, 
Dublin Barntown clearing their lines there, but it's back again to uh, Leah Kidd Leah this Kids, time. Yeah. And the corner forward there, number 13, uh, Ella Cosgrave, she kicks, but it's gone to the right and gone wide. So It'll be important now for Glenn kind of to settle down. You know, the last two kickouts have gone straight to Starlight's players. So for them just to, you know, get the nerves out of the way, it is the, it, they won their junior B last year. So it is a step up for them. And but they will settle. They have the slight breeze here in the first half as well, Kira. There is a slight breeze, and Starlight's have the breeze in the first half. Yeah, up no, in they the do. Town yeah. goal. A stalemate there now in the middle of the field. Nicola Davids come out on top with that one. I think Nicola David is actually playing in the middle of the field. I know she's wearing number 11, but I think there's a switch yeah, there. And a flood there for Starlight. Uh, captain of the team gets a good ball away. So it's an A current again. They're an A on the ball a lot now for the Starlights in the early Well stages run, in fairness. Left back is Neve Cogley there for, for Glyn Barntown. Or it's the full back. It's the full back, yeah, Jane Duggan. Jane Duggan. Um, number 10 there is Jane Murphy. So Glyn... Uh, Starlights again after winning back the ball there again. So it's really all Starlights here in the early stages of this County Junior A final. The corner forward for Starlights coming to the ball there now. And number 15. Uh, is Leah, Leah Walsh. Walsh. Leah Walsh yeah. again, another great Camogie yeah, player. She's Walsh. a great turn of speed Left in fairness. Yeah. Over the bar, a lovely score there from Leah Walsh. So that's. That's the first score of the game. In fairness, for all the dominance that Starlights have had. The end of the day, do you know, it's just a point on the board. Yeah, I actually thought Starlight were two points, but they're only yeah, a they're point. Only a point yeah, yeah, so yeah. Leah Walsh scores the first point. <coughs> so Again, that Leah previous three must have went wide then, well, yeah. Kira. Well, the goalie, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so in Starlight's fairness, Leah Walsh had a strong semi final as well. She's lethal with that left foot of hers. Yeah, fine score there from Leah. So I um, think uh, young Emma Cullen is picking her up, so, do you know, she just needs to be out in front of her, yeah. but it's difficult. Jasmine Gore there takes the kick out. So Glyn Barntown now have yet to really launch an attack on the Starlight's defence. But uh, Glyn Barntown now coming away with the ball this time. Is it the full back there? Uh, no, Jane Duggan. No, sorry, Sarah number Carl, nine. Number yeah, nine, Sarah, Sarah Carl. But Starlight's getting the ball back up the field again. Uh, Aoife McRae there for Starlight's. Yeah. Let's it off to an acorn again. An acorn really dominant here. She's uh, instrumental she in, in every attack. Her, yeah. And Ava should be very, very comfortable carrying the ball and she won't deliver it until yeah. she's sure it's she going to... She it back a there to Aoife McRae again. A free up there now for the Starlights. Taken quickly, this They're is a dangerous ball. Now, now the corner forward there going onto the ball. An empty net, does she kick it into the net? Yeah. She does. Corner forward, Leah Walsh. So there's a goal yeah. and a point for Leah Walsh. A great Absolute, start for Kira. Yeah, no, a great, great start. And in fairness, it was an acorn that set that up in the middle of the field again, as I was saying there. And A will not deliver that ball until it's the right ball. Yeah. Um, it, and it she, she's she's very, very comfortable carrying it. It was a great ball into Leah Walsh there. Yeah. She had space and... Uh, great and vision. A, a great vision from an A. So the Starlights are in, uh, getting off to a good start here now and putting yeah. Glyn Barntown under pressure. But Glyn will, like Starlights are having their purple patch now, Glyn will come into this match. They just have to settle down. It's important for them maybe to get a score on the board and just get a, a solid attack going as well. You know, just to let them settle. Yeah. Now, in, in fairness as well, remember Glyn played only on Tuesday night last in their semi final. You know, Starlets have had two weeks to prepare for this, whereas Glyn had a very, very quick turnaround. Yeah, they're. Uh, and they would it, have it had. Put the team under pressure when you're playing during the week have to come out again then and play the county final within less than a week yeah no it did to be fair and it was yeah. just the way the fixtures fell because there was a yeah, match couldn't Starlight's be played on the attack here again now block down there a good block from the Glyn Barnham defender but still Starlight uh, is it the corner it's back there Emma Cullen doing well there it's gone out for a 45 yeah Leah Walsh was because through there again. Leah Walsh and Ella. Oh no, it was Leah Walsh and Aoife McRae had got inside there, but in fairness to the Glynn defence, they, they managed it well, you know. The Starlights full forward line are potent enough here. Oh, they are. They're, 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 they're quick. They're, they're, they're doing well in there. The two corners are very, very speedy. So Nicola David now to take the 45. Yeah, Nicola David won't mind. She's a good soccer player as well. She plays with Ferns United. Nicola now takes a uh, ops for a and short no one. one. Now it's the centre half back Anna Flood. Anna's the captain of this Starlight's team. Anna Anna's the captain hard. of the Starlight team. She's actually Australia bound, I think, in a couple of weeks' time. She's heading off. Yeah. Number nine, there's Anne Corn again. Anne kicks oh, a lovely a super, point. Super That's a super point. kick. 35, 40 metres yeah, out here. No, absolutely, on her on her right foot. She, 
she's but again, look at she. She's used to the big day and a like she hurls at Owlert. I've known her since she was a kid, and she, she loves days like this. You know, great camogie player as well. Very, very. Yeah. She's the senior intercounty captain. Go away, um, great sport. Yeah. Great. Dual player. Well, in fairness, there's dual players on both teams. Yeah. Do you know a lot of these players um, play club and county camogie yeah. as well? So and it's a credit to Lene Corn. She's back on the ball again. Back to Leah Kid. Leah now is it? Let's it off to the full forward Emer Bourne. Emer Bourne takes a kick, but it's a wayward kick and it's gone to the right and gone wide. So the score still stands: one goal and two points for the Starlights. And Lynn Parentown have, have yet to score, but. It's important for them now that to try to get ju just to settle down, you know, and that they win their own kick out first and foremost and, and build on it from there on in. And if they work it through the hands, they will get scores. That forward line that Clint Haver is uh, are excellent as well, you know. So the ball kicked out there again now. Uh, Aoife McRae on the ball lets it into Leah Walsh. This is a dangerous Leah combination. Walsh on Leah Walsh, Walsh with the left boot, but oh. it goes to the left and goes wide. So a let off there for Lynn Barntown. A let off, yeah. She could have actually carried an extra, maybe two steps. Yeah. She would have got a bit there closer. Could have been a goal on could there. Could have been a goal here. on, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Leah Walsh is on the ball a lot. She's doing very well and could have had another goal to her tally there. So Glyn Barnhorn are County Junior B champions. They won the Junior, junior B, B last year. They're a young here, club, yeah. in fairness. Yeah. Um, they've done, uh, you know, in fairness to, to Aidan Miley there and Callum O'Shea and David Ferreter, that's over. Like, they've done a, a really, really good job. Yeah. And to get to the county final this year, especially in Absolutely, only up one yeah. year. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, number nine there, Sarah Carroll, doing well there for Glyn Parent, yeah. and gets the ball to the far side of the field to Ellie Stafford, but it's yeah. gone out over the... Like, in fairness to Glyn as well, now they're missing. Um, Robin O'Connor would be an excellent player, but she's also an excellent rugby player, unfortunately, yeah. and I think she's rugby tied at the minute. Yeah, that's so a she can, It's a massive yeah. loss to them, yeah. like, you know, because she's a special, special talent. Yeah. So it's a fr but look, they, they're Barton. just getting on with it, to be fair to them, you know. If Lynn can get a score on the board now, it will be a big help to them. But the Starlights are a very persistent team. Their defence is doing well, but yeah. Lynn Barnton's uh, 14. That's Layla, uh, Layla Stafford. Yeah. I think Layla actually again had a really, really good game in the semi final against Ballyhogue. I think she's only maybe 16 years of age, yeah, but a, a, a young player, but a, a really, really good player. Uh, Rebecca Fanning, they're now doing well for Lynn Barnton. Yeah, Rebecca another good player, notes. yeah. So the Starlight's defence. It fell on her left foot. Yeah. Number eight is this. Number eight Lara is actually Lara O'Shea. Yeah. Uh, I'm nearly sure there. actually Lara There's is actually the Camogie goalkeeper. Number There's 12. a goal. Yes, yeah. in the goal. Yeah. Sophie O'Leary. Sophie O'Leary, yeah. So Sophie O'Leary, she, she booted on the ground. Yeah, and, and Starlights will be disappointed that they didn't clear that ball. But that's a real but tonic now for Glyn Barntown. Yeah, absolutely. But as I said, you know, Glyn, Glyn are solid as well. And the more the game goes on, the more they will come into this game. Number, uh, number Jane, 10 there Jane is Murphy Jane Murphy. There for yeah. Glyn Barntown doing well. Glyn Barntown coming into it. That goal is going to give him great confidence. Uh, Sophie O'Leary <laughs> now in the ball for Glyn Barntown takes a speculative lob, but it goes to the right and goes wide. So this yeah. game now after livening up. It's Lynn after livening up, yeah. Take great confidence in that goal. Uh, Again Aaron. now, Aaron, Ca Aaron, Aaron Carley. um, Carley is in the goal now for Starlights. Again, player who has come up to the ranks playing county football as well. Do you know she, she's a good shot stopper and a really, really long kick out? Yeah, that's a fine kick. Yeah. Centre half back. Goalkeepers, goalkeepers are hard to find in the game, let me tell you. Yeah. Josie Mullen doing well there for Glyn Barnt when it's sent half back. That's a free. a free now for Glyn Barnt Town. I'm not sure what happened there, but it's a free anyway. So at the moment it's one goal for Glyn Barnt Town, one goal and two points, so there's only two points in it. Yeah, for all the Starlight's dominance in the first ten minutes, there is only those two points, two points. in it. Corner forward there, uh, Rebecca Fanning trying to come to the ball, but it's... An A corn coming away and with the ball for the yeah Starlight. Nicola Davils tidy that up and gave it out to an A. An A kicks up a good ball to the corner forward. Uh, Cosgrave. Ella Cosgrave is uh, pushing the back there from the Glyn Barnton player, so it's going to be a free in for the Starlights. Twelve is young Amelia Furlong. She'll be a daughter of Roni, who's in fairness to Roni, he's kept his team going in, uh, you know, in, in the town here for many many years. He would have managed all the underage teams up along. He's a proud, proud Starlights man. So it's going to be a free in now for the Starlights. A close in free. Uh, one of the Lynn Barnhound defenders, I think, was pushing in the back there. So it'll be a, a free now for Nicola Davitt. 
from a similar enough position from the last free, the last one, the goalkeeper cleared yeah. off her line. So it'll be interesting to see how she gets on with she this one. She should score now. this, Kira. Let, oh, no, she you don't just slow again. <laughs> 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 yeah, I better shut up when Nicholas <laughs> attempting her freeze. So Glyn Barntown get the ball out. But it's, it's Anna Flood there, a good centre half back, and captain of the Starlights team gets the ball up the field. Uh, Aimer Bourne now for the Starlights. <laughs> number eight is Leah Kidd. Leah Kidd is and number eight. Yeah. An There's a, an eight. An eight sent in a dangerous oh. ball. The goalkeeper gets her hand, so it does well. This is dangerous now for Lynn Barntown, but the Lynn Barntown defence coping well and, and clearing their lines there. So they yeah, Leah Walsh was nearly in there for a second back. goal, but it's coming back out yeah. now to Anna, Anna Flood. Flood. And again, Amelia Furlong now. Amelia is left footed left and she footed. has a lot of speed if yeah. she takes this, this on. Dangerous. She's won her free, yeah. Amelia Furlong is uh, another young player. She'll be minor again now this year, you know. But um, as I was saying, she's a daughter of but uh, an excellent, ex excellent prospect. Um, once she gets that ball in her hand, she's very confident and she's very, very quick. So this free is about, what is it, 25 metres out 25 here? 25, it's on the opposite side yeah. now. It should suit a right yeah. foot, foot kicker. I won't say anything to <laughs> this time. No, uh, let's not jinx her. Yeah. It's very easy to take free from up here, though, Pat. Oh, no, it's very easy to talk <laughs> here. <laughs> sure, Nicola now. Just for her own sake to settle her down. And for, uh, Nicola, the ball uh, skews <laughs> off her boot and goes to the left. So, kind of a let off. It's important for free takers, though, in fairness, just to get your head right and, you yeah. know, not to let it bother and, and step up and, and, and go forward. It's gone now. She's not going to be able to change it. In fairness, the other two had fell on her left side. So Jasmine Gore now, the Lynn Barntown goalie, kicks out, kicks it to the far side of the field. Uh, in fairness, I think that's the first kick out. One of the, yeah, you know, that Lynn have actually the won their own kick outs. Yeah. Glenn Murphy done well. Their wing forward win the kick yeah. out. So Lynn Barntown on the attack now again. Uh, centre forward coming to the ball there now, Mary Carroll. Half and back Rachel, is Rachel Murphy, Murphy, another Camogie yeah, player. Rachel sent in a good ball. <laughs> uh, the full forward there is, is Layla Stafford. Layla Stafford. Yeah. Layla still on the ball. That's a fine That's kick a there from Layla's gone over the oh bars. No, it's no, wide, it's wide, it's wide. But again, she should keep trying then because, you know, yeah. she will, if she persists, you know, if she persists with that, she will score. Yeah. You know, she's a good, a fine young player. Glyn Barnton are doing well when they get the ball into the when they get it in, yeah, yeah. Line, uh, Kira, they are well they're having the bit, scoring, yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. getting the ball down. It kind of seems that both sets of forwards are actually on top of their opposing yeah, back lines. Yeah. You know, like up here at this side, yeah. it, it, the, the Starlight forwards are doing well as well. You know, Starlight's now coming away with this ball. Now Ava Farrell, I think, bringing yeah. that one and out, and he has it again, coming to the rescue. <laughs> Starlight's working the ball up. Young Amelia Furlong on the ball again. She's a good ball carrier, although she carried that one. Yeah, she carried it and ex took an extra step. She was unlucky there, in fairness yeah. to her. There's Mary Carroll there now to go to take this free for Glynn. Starlights have a number of players back in that back line, verse, but yet yeah. it's the Glynn player that won it. Forward, Layla yeah. Stafford. This Oh, hits the crossbar. Oh, God, they're I think that's there. Or it's going to be a free, though. It, oh, it, hit the it must have hit the crossbar and, and bounced on the line then. Yeah. I'm not sure what the free was for there, Kira. I think, in fairness, the Starlight's player caught a hold of a jersey, I think, on the way in. Yeah. But clean are dangerous when they get they up are, front they there. Are they're, they're well capable to get the scores. All they had to do was settle down. I've seen this Glynn team all year, and yeah. in fairness, yeah. they came, as I said earlier, they came through their group. Yeah. They haven't been beaten all year, yes, you know. They yeah. would have bet Starlights already, so Starlights won't hold any yeah. fear. They're betting by nine points yeah. in the group stages now, albeit it was a different Starlights team. Like, w with all the play that the Starlights ha have in this first half, there's only, a point only one point yeah. behind. Rebecca Fanning, yeah. there's and they will, be they will be happy enough yeah. with that, you know. Nicola Davitt now coming onto the ball. Nicola lets it off to number Stress 10 off there, Ethan, Ethan McRae. McRae. Aoife now sold on cutting through the Glyn Barnett. is another defense. County Camogie player as yeah. well. Aoife born this time. This is danger enough. Leah Walsh now on the ball. Corner forward. Is she fouled there? Yes. Corner back fouls her. Uh, Emma really Cullen. <laughs> so a close in free now for the Starlights. Interesting to see now who's going to step up for this one. I think an A is going to take over the free kicking duties. Yeah, so an A corner is going to have it. Have a cut at the free taken. Yeah. And he 
would take the freezing camogie so she, she yeah do you know she'd be well used so to Anae that having a cut on this free and she puts it over yeah. the bar so a good score there from Anae. good score yeah she's a nice kicker of a ball she's comfortable on it yeah so, so with all the play starlights are only two points ahead so Lynn Barnton are, are well in this game important yeah. for them now as we were saying to win their own kick out yeah there we go and yeah yeah number nine does well there Sarah, Sarah Carroll Sarah's a tall, tall girl there in the middle of the field for Lynn Barntown. Still Sarah Carlin. Sarah now left foot kicks a nice ball up front, but is, is she fouled there as she was kicking that ball? I think so. And Nicola David has the culprit there, so it'll be a free for Lynn Barntown. I think she was lucky enough to get that free now, in fairness, yeah, but I anyway. It was yeah. of a soft nature, all right, uh, Kira. Very politically yeah. correct, Pat. But. Uh, it will be interesting now as this game progresses because the age profile of Glynn, I'd say, would be slightly younger than the age profile of the Starlights. So, we'll see it. Starlights now coming away That's with the Leah ball Kidd. again. Uh, Leah A Kidd. very, very good tackle by yeah. Mary Carroll to win that ball back. Fine play there by Ellie Stafford. The left foot gets <laughs> it down the field, but it's the Starlights defence on top again. Full back there is Megan O'Connor. Megan actually Megan had, a co had a Anna Kavna. a serious, she was carrying an injury, I'd say, into this game. She had uh, ligaments in her ankle. She's done right. a lot of damage to her ankle in the Ballygarra game. Yeah. But she seems to have recovered yeah. sufficiently enough anyway. Anna Flood good full back. Well. Anna Flood is fouled there as she delivered that ball, Kira. She got a yeah, good I think she in the, in the tummy, I think, there. <laughs> yeah, I think Sarah Carroll just... Look, there was no malice or anything in it, so yeah. she's getting a bit of a talking to, all right. getting her name taken now. It's just 18 minutes, nearly gone here now, and if she gets a yellow card, she'll be sin bin. Yeah, she's all going right. to miss. Yeah. She'll be sin bin for 10 minutes now, Pat, but she'll be back for the second yeah. half. It's still a loss to Lynn Barnton now. They're down. Uh, yeah, they're down to 14 down players to 14. now, so someone will have to step up. Yeah. But it'll be interesting now to see how Starlight's actually manage that extra player yeah. and where the player. Will Starlight capitalise on the yeah. extra player? Here last night in the senior game when Cloney, or Cloney were 15 players. Do you know at one stage there that the, yeah. the, the, one of the Chemeliers got um, Thinbin, but it was actually Chemeliers who powered on instead yeah. of Cloney. So it doesn't always work out that the yeah. team with the advantage scores. And a cabinet there now for the Starlight. Uh, here's young Amelia Furlong yeah, on Amelia her left. Furlong. Left like she's well capable yeah, of taking the score, really Amelia is. Through. Oh, there's a fine she kick. went for oh, it. Oh, it's gone over the bar. Yeah. It, it was a goal chance there, but it went over. Was that Leah Walsh again? Leah uh, Walsh, with her, yeah, yeah, it so was. Leah yeah, Walsh yeah. scored. I think that's 1 2 now she's scored. Yeah, but a great run by Amelia Furlong on the far wing. Do you know, again, for a young player, she's confident, she's not afraid to take it on. Yeah, and she went for it. She actually went for the juggler, which is, do you know, it's it, good it to see. It was a goal opportunity. He'd be luckily for Lynn Barntown, it, it just went over the bar. So, still not an awful lot in it. Aoife McRae, uh, Leah is inside Leah and there's no one again. on her. Leah Walsh, she's on fire here today in Belfast. She takes a nice oh, low great kick, but save. the goalkeeper gets her boot to it. Goalkeeper Jasmine Gore is doing well for Lynn Barntown. Emer that was Bourne a great save in fairness. Helping out the... But it's number seven coming away with the ball, Neve Cogley. That's Neve Cogley, Barntown. yeah. But great, oh yeah. Uh, Starlight's defender uh, fouling Neve as she was clearing that ball. Roni Furlong. It's getting a bit excited here down on the sideline. So Lynn Barntown now hoping to weather the storm, especially when they're a, a player down. Yeah, if they just get the half it's time now, you to know. Go to half time, so it'll be. They'll really have to defend well now when they're a player down. An acorn on the ball again, a lovely footballer jinking around players. Fist pass to number seven, Eva Farrell. And Acorn back on the ball again. Lynn Barnton defending well. Is it, uh, it's had got in. the free, yeah. Sarah's probably be better now playing this one short because it's difficult enough. Yeah, it's a long ways out. Yeah. Amelia's left. Amelia for long is going to take it anyway on her left foot. There's no one in the middle if she. Oh. For a second there, it opened up for Leah Kidd. Yeah, she plays it short. Watch. Goes back again to an A. Yeah. An A corner lets it into. Back Amelia to Amelia, again. yeah. Back to Amelia. Yeah. Amelia there with the right boot. 
But it's she kind of stumbled as she was kicking that. Yeah. So it's Lynn Barrington working the ball up the field again. Uh, Ellie Stafford on the ball now. A nice ball to the far side of the field. Now I see Megan O'Connor. Uh, the Starlights Murphy. are playing their extra player in, in their back line. Oh, Starlights win back the ball again. Jane Murphy there uh, intercepted as she was passing the ball. Anna Flood there, the captain, doing well at centre back. And A. Cohn lets the ball into the full forward. Emer Bourne. But it's Glyn Barrentown win the ball back again. So the Glyn defence doing well, even though they're no, the players is, they're yeah, doing no, well. They are. Yeah. As I said, if they can get to half time now without too but much um, damage being done to them, they'll be happy enough. There from, from Aoife McRae. Aoife McRae now bring the ball back in again for the Starlights. But again, the Glyn Barrentown defence standing solid and coming out with the ball. But it's Aoife McRae wins the ball again, and this is close enough to the Glyn Barrington goal, but she's yeah, blocked down. Ella Cosgrave, yeah, that for, number 13 for Sarlis, so actually got the hand in to win that ball. Yeah. Um, and Josie Mullen gets in a good block then on Aoife McRae as she was shooting. Now Glyn just need to concentrate and try to find her own players, yeah, but that's gone wayward, and Anna Anna picked Korn, it up again. Back to Eamor Bourne, Eamor Bourne now, full forward for the Starlis, lets it back to Anne Corn, Anne puts it across the field. A great to, ball to by Nicola, Nicola Davis. Davis. Yeah. Nicholas, Glyn Barrentown doing well. Uh, Rachel Goff there get clearing her lines, getting it up the field to uh, Ellie Stafford. Stafford. Ellie with the left boot gets a good ball downfield. Now numerically, so uh, Starlights have players yeah. back, but it's so what they're going to do. Because here's um, Layla Stafford Layla on the Stafford ball now. Again, yeah. So can Glyn Barrentown engineer score here now to be Rebecca Fanning. Rebecca sends the ball in, but goalkeeper Aaron Carley... Uh, handles that easily enough and comes away with the ball. Uh, for is, I don't know what's. I think there's oh. a Glyn Barrington player injured up here in the full okay. back lane, Kira. Hopefully, I think she'll be okay. I think it's. Is it the corner? Corner back, is it? Uh, right, let's see. I can't see her number. Yeah. She's getting some spray and, the, and the, is the, the spray magic, yeah, the magic, It's better than the, the drink of water better now, the water, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's replaced the magic yeah. water bottle, Pat. Yeah. Don't know, did they even have bottles in your day, they did? Oh, water <laughs> was the only remedy for any kind of an injury in my time, Kira. <laughs> Number eight now is centre field player there, Leah Kidd doing well for the Starlights. Starlights working the ball up the field again. But, but again, Glyn yeah, Glyn are well. battling very, yeah. very hard, in fairness. Um, they brought Stafford. out Ellie Stafford there since they've gone 14 players and she's after getting on a number of balls yeah. out around the middle of the park. Rachel Goff is up there helping out. Uh, Ellie Stafford now on the ball. <gasps> Still Ellie. She lets Still it in across, but it's uh, Anna Flood there. A good centre-back here, Anna Flood. Yeah, she's very solid. good now, yeah. Anna, so Anna Corn again. Boy, what a game she's having. She lets Anna it up to very fish. Nicola, Nicola Davis, Davis now has it, yeah. Uh, Anna Kavner there is playing well at right full back. Gets the ball upfield with the full back for Glyn Barrington. Jane Duggan doing well. Wins the ball, sends it downfield. And Jane is uh, fouled as she cleared her lines there. So it's going to be a free to Glyn Barrington. As I said, the more Glyn can wind down this cock clock now, do you know? Yeah. Uh, just get to half time. There's still only three points That's down. All, like. yeah. If they can hold it at that now, they'll be doing well. <laughs> they just need to settle and try to find yeah. their own players. Yeah. Easier said than done, though. Uh, Rachel Murphy doing well there now for Lynn and uh, Lara O'Shea, the captain on the ball now. Still Lara. She lets it back to Mary Carroll. Mary puts it across. The referee blows the whistle. Is it a fr I'm not Mary sure was what foul, I think, as she was kicking, as she was kicking it, maybe, yeah. Fairness, it's a fine day for a game of football. You couldn't ask for better weather. Yeah, I can't believe the pitch is in such good condition. Yeah, right no, here. fairness to Starlights, you know. Yeah, it's, it's mm. Considering what we're in, we're after getting... <laughs> surface is very good. Excellent, in fairness. And, and Starlights are doing a big development here at the back as well, so when they have all that finished, yeah. you know, it'll be a brilliant facility for them to have. And in fairness, they always make it available as well, which is good for everyone in the county. But it was a hard year for Starlights to prepare... Uh, with the lack of pitches. With lack so of pitches, it must yeah. have been very difficult. Yeah. I know sometimes, in fairness to the GA, when Starlights were hosting games here, they allowed them train out in Ferns a little bit yeah. because they had no pitch. You yeah. know, but they've the the hurling football ladies, G ladies. Uh, oh, Lynn Barrington now on the attack, the full now, forward there, Leila. Oh, I say it's going. It's going. It has to be a penalty. 
Leila's doing well there at full yeah. forward. No, she's very good, yeah. yeah. She Am I pronouncing that Leila correctly, yeah, Kira? Yeah, no, you are, yeah. Leila? Yeah, Leila, yeah. 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 Not that I'm an expert now, Pat, but yeah, no. Yeah. So, uh, so this is... This will be important this, one, this could be a big break for Glyn Barrentown now, just three, four minutes before half time. Leila, I think it's Mary forward. Carroll is stepping up yeah, to Mary take Carl. this. This will be interesting now, as I said, Aaron Carley this is an excellent goalie as well. To Glyn Barrentown. With the amount of play Glyn Barrentown have, they're doing so well. They're they are, they've been very efficient in front of goal. They've been taking nearly all yeah. their opportunities. They have. So a pressure kick really, now a penalty. Penalty's never easy to score. Mary kicks it, uh, doesn't uh, kick it that hard, and the goalkeeper easily saves it there, uh, Aaron Carley. So Aaron. Uh, Starlight's lucky enough there now, but Glyn Barnton back on the attack again. Um, Ellie Stafford there now, corner forward, trying to get the ball back in again, and a free in, free. so it's going to be a it, number 12. It's important. Uh, Sophie O'Leary yeah, was fouled there. It's important for Glyn now to get something out of this attack. Yes. Full forward there, Leila Stafford again. Now Leila doing well at full forward. Can Glyn Barrentown engineer a score here? It's to be important for him, but they're, they lose his possession now, and the Starlights are coming away with the ball. Uh, Aoife McRae doing well. Still Starlights are very again. good at, at playing the ball through their hands and through the lines. Yeah, they've a good combination. Aoife yeah. McRae are now going down on the ball for the Starlights. She kicks it up. Oh, Aoife would have been better yeah. maybe picking that up. Yeah, the, the Glyn Barrentown corner back there's it. Emma Cullen doing well there. She's fouled as well. So the, the Glyn Barrentown Cullen. Emma really Cullen did really well, well, well yeah, yeah really, well. really well, yeah. And uh, a person, player short. You know, sometimes when a corner forward scores on it, you know, your head can go down, but she's yeah. came back fighting now, in fairness to her, and has won the last couple of balls that have gone in there. That's the corner back there, Rachel Goff taking the free. Corner forward, Ellie Stafford there, doing well yeah. for Glyn Parenthood, gets the ball up the field. Ellie Stafford has done really, really well since yeah. she came out the field for Glyn. Jane Murphy, Glyn has beaten the ball that time, so... Uh, centre field player Leah Kidd there now coming away with the ball with the Starlights. Leah is going to give it into Anna Flood. Anna Flood back to Leah again. Leah, uh, Starlights are, are very good at combination football as they move up the field. Still the Starlights, corner forward there for the Starlights. Uh, Ella Cosgrave, but that's gone to the right that's and gone, gone wide. But you can see there the little bit of a difference between two teams at the moment. Starlights are very, very comfortable moving the ball through their hands, yeah. finding each other. Glynn just need to concentrate that little bit more because it's something that maybe that's letting them down just at the minute. Though they've given away a number of possessions there. And, and still, Glynn, they're doing so well with what oh, play yeah, they have. Absolutely, it's, 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 yeah. yeah. Like they're nearly, there's only two and a half minutes kind of yeah. to half time. So once they get there, they'll get a breather and yeah. settle themselves again. So they'll be back to 15. Jasmine Gore play? kicks out again, kicks it to the far side of the field. The half back there is Rachel Murphy collecting the ball. So Glyn Barrentown, centre field player there is Lara O'Shea, the captain. Lara doing well, bringing the ball down, but she's dispossessed this time. But still the ball breaks to Rachel Murphy. Rachel lets it back to Lara. The corner back there is Rachel Goff, or the wing back, sorry, Neve Cogley. So Glyn Barrentown working their socks off. Is this full they forward? They are, they three again. on one now here. Layla has it now, rather. Yeah. Still Layla, she kicks. Is that has gone over the bar? Uh, Lovely yeah, score lovely, there from yeah. Layla Stafford. Layla doing well at full forward, scores a great point. Yeah, so it's Glyn are actually back up now to 15. Um, All right, the yeah, sin bin is the over. Sin bin is over, yeah. yeah. Just before, so yeah, two so points in it now. Only two points, yeah. one four to one two. This <laughs> is anyone's game. Glyn doing well with, with probably a lot less possession. Yeah, they had actually three on one if they had it. They could have actually maybe worked a goal there. Yeah. But it's, it was important for them to get the score. So Anna Flood now works it out for the Starlights. Out to Megan O'Connor. Free up. <laughs> Free for the Starlights. There's no one. Someone needs to move now for the Starlights. Give her an option. She thumps a long ball forward, but it and breaks. And is on this. And A Corn and A tips it on the ground first time, gets the ball up. Uh, oh, Leah Walsh is on Leah the ball Walsh this time. This is dangerous for Glyn Barntown. Leah Walsh takes it. The goalkeeper oh. saves it, but oh. it's back in the net. Leah Walsh must have got her foot to it eventually. I think it was Leah that scored it. It was Leah, yeah. yeah very unlucky on Glyn Barntown because yeah. the goalie, yeah, in Jasmine fairness, Gore Jasmine, so yeah, well. she done really, really well. And she actually she saved and went on to the post. Yeah, it rebounded yeah. back off the post. And, and then Leah it's was able to get Favourable to Leah again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hard luck very on Glyn Barntown. Very now. But the Starlights have been threatening uh, Kira there a good bit, so I suppose 
They have for all the possession that, that they're after having. Yeah. It's half time now, half right time. before half time to get that score. Yeah, so it's two goals and four points to Tarlitz and one goal and two points to Dlin. Yeah, still nothing in it, so the second half will be interesting. It's all to play for.
we're almost ready now for the second half of this Junior A County Ladies Football Final. Uh, the Homestead Junior A Final. Well, Kira. Um, Ardlin Barrington in with a shout now for the second half. They're Absolutely. five points down, but yeah, they're no, well capable. Very well capable, you know, very unlucky to give away that goal just before half time. Tough on them, but obviously brilliant for the Starlights going yeah. in. Um, yeah. Do you know, you always want to get a score before half time, especially yeah. such a, do you know, a goal like that, you know. But um, it's all to play for now. It's the next 30 minutes, and it, it, and if Glynn can just tidy up maybe a little bit of their hand yeah. pass and, you know, just concentrate that yeah. bit more, find but their own players. Referee but Ken Lawson. <laughs> Rawson throws in the ball, so the game is on. Glyn Barntown on the attack. I think Glyn Barntown have a slight breeze in their favour now for the second half. Uh, Again, now they have a player. Yeah, number four, Layla Stafford. Layla, Layla Stafford. She had a great first half. She should have a free there yeah, anyway. Yeah, 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 right yeah. Very positive start yeah. from Glyn now for the yeah. second half, you know. Yeah, if they start now by getting the first score, it'll be yeah, uh, give them a confidence be, booster. Huge plus for them. Yeah. So Rebecca Fanning now to take the free. Yes, uh, only a about good free taker. Yeah, yeah 20 no. metres out. Rebecca kicks that ball through and over the bar. Good yeah. score. Good score. And now, do you know, it brings it back to four. Yeah, four points. So it's one, three to two, four. And I think Glyn Barrington have the slight advantage of a breeze, Kira. There's not, there yeah, is there's a not, slight, not much. Not much. No. No, it, as I said, won't no, win a match here. it certainly won't. It's all about heart and guts now yeah. at this stage, and it's. I think it's going to be whoever wants it the most. The Starlights won't want it, you know. As I said, they're playing on their home pitch. It's a, it'd be a special, special thing for them to win an adult title on your home pitch. Yeah. But Glen are not going to go down without a fight either. So uh, Aaron Carley there takes the kick out, and Anna Flood is going to win possession. Or no, it's gone out it's over gone the sideline. Over the so sideline, yeah, yeah. She's given possession back to Glen Barrington. Um, Mary Carroll now to take the sideline kick. Mary kicks it up to uh, good Jane ball there Murphy. to young Jane Murphy. Yeah. yeah, Jane lets it back to Sarah Carroll again. Yeah, I think Sarah actually was part of that. Uh, was on the se senior, you know, the intermediate ladies football team a couple of years ago. You know, yeah. so, so she's a capable football. Very again. capable, yeah. yeah. Uh, centre field player there, Lara O'Shea, the captain at Lynn Barnton doing well. Layla Stafford on the ball again now. Layla had a great first half. She had a very good first yeah. half, you know, again for a long young girl. Young player. I think as I said, I think she's only sixteen, yeah. you know, so Sophie O'Leary lets the ball across to the far side of the field. Rebecca Fanning gathers it. So Glyn Barrentown starting really well here now yeah. in the second half. Uh, Rebecca sends it back. In fairness to, to Amelia Furlong made a run there of eighty yeah. yards to try yeah. to get a block in. And the result of it was that yeah. do you know when Re Farrell Rebecca wins the ball back. Uh, and A Corn on the ball again. Amelia now, Amelia Furlong. Yeah, Amelia on the ball again for Starlights. A good Starlights. ball carrier. They're, they're very good as they move the ball yeah. up the field. Still Amelia. She's and Amelia won't be afraid to take him on. Great girl to carry a ball. Yeah. She's after carrying that ball 40, 50 metres now. This is Absolutely left Amelia, footed. She's locked down there and by the centre half back, I think, Josie yeah. Mullen. But she's got a 45, 45. on No, very positive run from Amelia. Again, has a great burst of speed, well able to carry the ball. Yeah, she's a fine player. Yeah, she's minor again this year. Do you know, Starlights do have a good, do you know, young Chief for Fenland there is, is minor again next year as well. Yeah. Um, Nicola David there taking a 45, but takes it quickly to. Is it Eva McRae? I think it's Eva yeah, McRae, Aoife yeah. lets the ball in, Starlights. Number and eight Leah Kidd has it here now. Leah Kidd. But well run in fairness the, to the... The Glyn Barrington defence Mary doing Carl well. Is yeah, back Mary there Carl is back out. helping her defence. Uh, Sophie O'Leary trying to win the ball now for Glyn Barrington and carry the ball upfield again. Now it's important for Glyn to just yeah. to find her own player because... Sophie O'Leary doing well there. She's fouled there. She was uh, carrying the ball so it'll be a free up for Glyn Barrington. Layla coming to the ball again. Still Layla Stafford, but just the full back. Megan O'Connor has stopped her that time. Yeah. Megan has her hands full with Layla. But and it's back to Layla Stafford again. Is it to have the advantage, yeah. to have the advantage? Re they had the advantage uh, there, but the yeah. ref there was no. There was Ellie Stafford is fouled so. there, so free in for a uh, quickly taken free. No, but the referee calls the ball back again. Sophie O'Leary now to take the free for Glyn Barrentown. So 
Well, there's nothing in this game, Pat, you know, four points. Nothing in it, and if Blink can get a few more scores, yeah. now it's going to go. But they have to stop giving away possession. Yeah. It's a number of times now, it's after happening. Yeah. Because Starlights will punish it. Yeah. They're good footballers. <laughs> Nicola David going down on the ball. Uh, Nicola has again, she fists past to number seven, uh, Ava, Ava That's Farrell. That's Ava Farrell. That's a free. Free up. Yeah, free against Nicola David. She's getting a little yeah. bit frustrated yeah. there now, but it's important. She's one of the leaders on this team. Do you know, she just needs to show the way now for the younger players around her. Uh, Centre forward there, Mary Carroll was a... Uh, uh, yeah, Mary has been influential in this game, in fairness to her. I know she missed the penalty, but... Yeah. So, uh, Lara O'Shea takes the free quickly. The captain still Lara O'Shea. Now, Lara doing well. Good, wholehearted player for Lynn Barrentown. Yeah. She lets the ball up, but Anna Flood gets her hands to that ball and it comes back to Anna Flood again. Anna very Flood and again, yeah. Nicola David again. Corner Starlights are very Anna comfortable Kavner. moving that yeah, ball through their hands. Yeah, great combination, Nicola yeah. David again. You know, some ex excellent interlink play. Aoife McRae. Aoife McRae now is on it. Aoife McRae Another. tackled hard there by the centre half back, uh, Josie Mullen. She needs to recycle this ball now just to keep it live for Starlight. Comes back out to Leah Walsh. An acorn, no one. Player, Anna. An acorn, no one picked her up. That's a fine kick, but it's oh, gone to the left and gone wide. Very unlucky by an A, yeah. But I think she has a free anyway. I think she was so fouled. It's going to be a free, yeah. yeah. She got the advantage. She did, in fairness, yeah. She got the chance. Yeah. An A going to take this free now herself. It's not an easy free either. It's not an easy free for a right foot kicker. No. About 25 metres out. So when uh, studying her the goal, she kicks it well. I think that's yeah. gone over the bar. Yes, lovely score. yeah, a very good uh, score. Fine score. Lovely kicker of yeah. a ball. She's just relaxed. Do you know? Yeah. She, she yeah, she's, she, a she's a. Do you know? She's one of the big differences between the teams there now at yeah. the minute, to be fair to her. So a fine, fine free taken there by But again, the big day wouldn't get to an age. You know, she's used to playing in county yeah. finals with Owlert. She's played in Crow Park. Yeah. Do you know, she's... Uh, and a show is there too, Kira. Yeah, she's, she, she's really just relaxed. Relaxed, yeah. yeah. Has the experience. Yeah. She can't be here. And she's only a young girl. Yeah. Do you know, an A is only yeah. 21. Tw yeah. She's about 22, she's you know. She's on the ball again now, an A. Yeah. Corner, lovely ball into the full forward. Emer and oh, she kicks it from wide. Emer burned there. Uh, Unlucky kicked for it her. a bit rashly, I suppose, but it's she kind of panicked. It was like as if she panicked. Yeah, it was a let off for Glenn. Bit of a let off for Glenn yeah. now, yeah. So it, it still keeps Glenn in the game. There's not too big of a lead. No, ahead two five to one three. So it's still all to play so for. They need to keep moving now to yeah. try win their own kick out. Um, Jasmine Gore there takes the kick and one way on. Oh. Nicola David wins the ball back there for Starlights. Very unlucky uh, there now. Starlights had it originally. Leah, Leah Kid. Leah, Leah Kid. An A is on it now again. An A corn. I think that's number number twenty. I think is young is Kira O'Connor is yeah. after coming on. I'm not quite sure who's gone off. So the goalkeeper there, Jasmine Gore, done doing well there for Lynn Barrentown. So Lynn Barrentown now lifting the siege again, trying to get the ball upfield. Starlight's putting a lot of pressure on him, but a good ball uh, out now. In Jane fairness. Murphy doing well there. Oh, but she's dispossessed. It's a free up though. <laughs> and a and a flood might have uh, fouled there. So a free for Lynn Barrentown. Yeah. Quickly Glyn taken. They'll have to hold it Two up here now for the injury. Uh, but number 20, Kira O'Connor there came in, corner okay. forward. Well, Kira's on for the Starlights. Yeah, she's on for the Starlights yeah. there. I'm not sure who's gone off. I think it's Ella Cosgrave. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps. Anna Flood is down. Uh, she took a bit of a knock there. And a captain of the Starlights team having a solid game there at centre half back. She is, yeah, yeah do you know, she's playing well. Yeah. As I said, I think she's Australia bound now in the next week or yeah. so there thereabouts. She will be a loss to the Starlights. Yeah. A lot of young lads emigrating at the minute. Uh, yeah, Kira. unfortunately so. I think yeah. during COVID, you know, a lot of them yeah. put their travel plans yeah. on and, and yeah. every GA club in, yeah. in the county I think has suffered as the result. Yeah. You can't blame and them it either. Seems to be the good players <laughs> that emigrate. <laughs> so Glyn Barrentown are launching the ball up the field, but the Starlights wins it again and Acorn again they're winning the ball back for the Starlights. Corner back there for Sarries. Anna Kavna is playing well too. Leah Kidd on the ball. She lets it back to uh, Anna Flood, the captain. Leah sends it back to Amelia. 
That's, I think that's young. She for Fenlon over on the far side. Oh, she She's won her Fenlon. free. Yeah. Yeah. She's Adrian's daughter. Yeah, she for a very strong GA blood. Very, yeah, yeah, steeped in it. Yeah. Again, a young player. She's minor. Yeah, only a minor. She yeah. for Fenlon. Do you know, Rony Furlong, to be fair, has brought a lot of these younger players for the Starlets up through the ranks over the last number of years. Yeah. And he's seen the fruits of his work now, to be fair to him, you know. And Acorn is waltzing through the Lynn Barntown defence, but kind of blocked that time when it comes <laughs> to the full forward, Emer Bourne. Yeah, uh, back to an A now. An a. I think that's Aoife McRae on the ball Aoife. there now. It's important that Glynn do not yeah. give away a free here. Yeah, it's still... Blin are still starlights on the attack, it's but the gone ball has gone wide there. Yeah. Was that the substitute that kicked that ball? No, it wasn't. Kira. No, it was kind of oh. came in from the far side right. there. Kira's on yeah. this side. The need Barntown are under pressure now at the minute. They right? are. They just up a lot of pressure. They are, but they're standing they're up well. But they need to want well. the ball. They, they have to get a score now. It'll be uh, crucial for them. Yeah. Set them up. That's a good kick yeah. out now. Lara. Do you know? Uh, Lara O'Shea wins her free there <laughs> from the midfield. She's had a fine game as well now, yeah, to be she's fair to her. Very well, a fine captain. So Lara now to take the free for Glyn Barntown and try and set up another attack. Leila coming to the ball and winning it well there for Glyn Barntown. Leila playing very well here in this she county is doing the final. An excellent ball carrier as well, yeah. and she's physically strong. Yeah. And confident on in ball. her own ability. She she'll take them yeah, on all day she's long. Doing very well. Still Leila Stafford now. An excellent ball across. That's another yeah, substitution. Number 21, she's fouled there. Is number 21 no. is Evelyn Ryan. I think Evelyn is on the... No, no, was oh. it 21? 21. Chief. For Glynn is... I think it's Neve Walsh. Neve Walsh. Or actually is... It doesn't look like Neve Walsh. Yeah. I think is that Sarah O'Donoghue. Sarah O'Donoghue, yeah. Yeah, I think it's Sarah O'Donoghue. So Rebecca Fanny now to take this free... And Sarah yeah. kicks it safely over the bar. A fine, fine free taken there by Rebecca Fanning. And it keeps the margins that bit smaller and giving Glyn Barntown, keeping them in the game. So a well taken free there by Rebecca Fanning. The sun is in Aaron's eyes here now, so it'll be interesting to see how this kick out goes. Aaron looking for someone to make themselves available so that she can kick it out. So she kicks it long down the middle, Lara. O'Shea going to there for Glyn Barrington. It comes to Rachel Murphy, the wing back. Let's it back to Lara O'Shea again there. Lara doing well. Kicks a nice ball through. This comes They're in now, Glyn. Dangerous oh. ball. But it's the corner back. It was Aaron uh, Cahill Aaron came Cahill. across that yeah. time with, with a crucial with interception. Yeah, but Glyn have it Murphy. back. Is it a free in? They've got a yeah, free, a free in, in now. If they pop this over, yeah. Pat, will be down to three Sophie points. O'Leary, I think, was fouled yeah. there. They pop this over yeah. now. It's back yeah, down. So and it's back in the melting pot yeah. now again. So Glyn Barntown doing well, they're keeping the pressure on, on the Starlights, keeping the ball upfield and getting their second free now within a few minutes. This free is a little bit trickier now for Rebecca Fanning. A little bit, yeah, because for a right yeah, foot kicker. kicker yeah, but to the again, right of the goal yeah. post. But again, she's a very good free taker. Yeah. I've watched her. She's only about 20 metres year. out now. Yeah. So Rebecca Fanning now to take this important free for Glyn Barntown. Oh, is yeah. it gone to the right? No, I think uh, it's gone un to the right. Yeah, for Rebecca. Unlucky for Rebecca. The, uh, the free went to the right of the post, so it's, there wasn't much in it. So quickly taken free there by uh, Aaron Carley. Oh, it was a bit too quick for the refs like, and I'm afraid. Aaron has to kick out again. Glynn are starting to get their little purple patch now, so it's yeah. important for them that they put scores on the yeah. board. So Aaron kicks long this time down the middle. Uh, a free there, one of the Lynn Barntown girls uh, injured. Yeah, I think in that tussle for position. I think Amelia the Furlong is getting. She got punished for that one. I think yeah. wasn't a whole lot in it. To be fair, she was competing for the ball. So it's but he's I think it's Sarah Carroll that's down. Hopefully now Sarah will be okay. I'm not quite sure who it is, Pat. About 15 minutes gone already, are the Kira? Yeah, still yeah. four points in yeah. it. 
but look at the goal could go in as quick as anything yeah, for either side yeah. so you just don't know yeah, the game is really in the melting pot still so Glen Barrington doing well yeah, it's very it's competitive still it's Rachel Murphy that's actually down Rachel now Rachel is down the yeah. number wing 5 back. wing back for Glen Barrington Look at a lot of these players have had a tough couple of weeks because a lot of them, you know, Glynn were out in the senior camogie, Starlight played camogie, and A yeah. obviously with Eulers was it's playing camogie. So a hectic here, schedule, yeah. yeah, you know. So the girls are doing well. It's a big day for both teams because they're striving to win their first ever County Junior A title. Absolutely, you know? yeah. Every county final is a big day, yeah. do you know. And as we mentioned before, it would be special for Starlights to win it. When would you get the opportunities, you know, to, to have a county final on your home pitch? Yeah. Uh, it's just the way it fell for them this year. I'd say Rony Furlong is having a few anxious minutes down in front of us here now. His heart is in his mouth. It's a pressurised job being <laughs> over a team here, isn't it? Oh, it it's is. He's well used to pressure, though. Yeah. He's a tyre man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It means so much to managers to win Absolutely. on a county final day, don't you? Oh, it? he's born and bred Starlight's yeah, man now, yeah. do you know. Um, even though me, like his chil he lives out Bree direction, but his children are never going to play with Ballyhog. No <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah. They're born and bred as yeah. well. So the half back there, Rachel Murphy, she seems to be okay now. Rachel is Yeah, I think she got a bang to the back. head, yeah. I think it was just uh, they were contesting for the ball yeah. and. She was at the end of it, unfortunately, for her. So, uh, 47 minutes gone now, so yeah, it's important that Glyn get uh, something out of this yeah, attack. 21. That is Sarah. Uh, is that it's Sarah, Sarah Donahue. Donahue. Yeah, yeah, Sarah's doing well since she came yeah, on. Yeah, I know, very lively yeah, player. Yeah. Rachel Murphy back on the ball again. But uh, Nicola... Nic or it was Amelia Furlong got the hand in there. Steps. And Amelia is actually, yeah. if they get the ball across yeah. to her on the left-hand side... Amelia on the ball now. M Amelia and will carry the ball yeah, when she win it. She will, yeah. And Kira O'Connor is actually free and available yeah, on yeah, this side as well. Yeah. Number twenty is on as well for. Yeah, that's oh, Kira O'Connor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a that's, that's a home. great score great now. Score. In fairness, that th that came from the interception here, and Starlights are 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 better at moving the ball yeah. through the hands and keeping their own possession. Yeah. So it's back to so two six to one four now. Starlight's a bit of a cushion now again. Here. Gives them a little bit yeah. of a breathing space. Two but six look to one four. There's still a long, long way to go in this. Yeah. And a corner on the ball again now for Starlight. Carrying the ball forward, a nice. Let's oh, in. She gets the free. Fouled. Yeah. Again, it's too far out now. They need to move this quick. Take a short and move it quick. And a going to take the free herself. She's out about nearly forty-five meters. <laughs> She needs a runner to be available for her Someone for this one now. To, and Nicola yeah. David is making a run, yeah. She lets it into Nicola and back to Anae again. Anae, but Anae is dispossessed there, so fine play from Glyn Barrentown. But again, Glyn Barrentown yeah. kick it away. They've and worked so hard. Situation well. Yeah, worked so hard to, to get the possession. Yeah. Now, uh, Kira is another Kira flyer. She's another flyer. Kira she gets Connor ball, well she will do danger. For the since she come on. Still yeah. Kira O'Connor. She kicks with the right boot, sends it. Uh, Leah Walsh on it there, but it's the corner back. Uh, it's Emma Cullen coming away with the ball. Yeah. I think she's fouled as she was clearing her lines there, so it could be a free up for Glyn Barrentown. Starlight to be happy enough just to keep the ball up in this direction, though. Yeah. You know, there's 11 minutes. 11 minutes left. Left. Jane Duggan now to take the free for Glyn Barrentown. So it's Glyn Barrentown now need another score on the board. Jane Duggan kicks it high to this side of the field, stand side in Belfield. This one uh, with Sarah. Yeah. Oh no, Nicola has a back. Sarah O'Donoghue there trying to win the ball, but it's Nicola David. A good ball by Nicola. Starlitz. Back to Nicola David again. Yeah. Nicola with the, the blonde hair lets it into Amelia. It Amelia? Amelia, and it's on her left foot yeah. now. She Amelia can pop it over. Foot. That's yeah. a fine. No, oh, it's gone no. to the right. That's actually still in play. Full oh, it's going to be a free out there. Free out, Connor. yeah. Uh, corner back had her hands down yeah. when Kira. So it's a, it'll be a free out. Starlights are starting to press again, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, mm. they're, they're putting a lot of pressure on the Glyn Barrentown defence there yeah. now. The 
have a few crucial players to carry the ball they up do, field. Yeah, uh, they, they have a couple of very good players. And first. you know, they came good at the right time in the championship, as it's the same before. They, the Starlight actually didn't win a game in their group yeah, stages yeah. in the championship, but they came good at a quarter final stage when it mattered most. Yeah. yeah, They got their team together, they got their good players all playing. There was a few injuries, uh, and in fairness to Roni Furlong, he has a good he's assembled a good squad there do you know but yeah. that's the fruits of his work and, yeah. and all the men that are with him and women with him over the last number of years like do you know he's been working hard in the background yeah. there as a as a club that they all have like yeah. they deserve great credit yeah they do the work to put into a club yeah and it's no different on the glenn side as well yeah. like do you know yeah they're two teams two young teams with a lot of potential absolutely yeah, yeah. Glyn are coming from Junior B last year. Like they've, they've made yeah, a great inroads. Club. Absolutely, it's, it's yeah. a fantastic Unbeaten year. Unbeaten so far this year. Yeah, you know? and being very competitive in this county Junior absolutely, A final yeah. as well. So full credit to all their mentors. Number 14 is Emer going off. Emer born for the Starlights. I'm not sure now who's brought on. Kick out there by Jasmine Gore. Lynn Barntown now will need to get the ball upfield and get a score on the board and, and stay competitive in this county final with about 10 minutes left. Lara O'Shea, they're doing well for Lynn Barntown. Number 21, uh, Sarah O'Donoghue is doing very well since she came on. Still Sarah O'Donoghue now, solo on, up the field with, for Lynn Barntown. Still Sarah, she's about 25 metres out now. Sarah kicks with the right boot, sends it across oh. the goal. The goalkeeper gets her hand to it. That was a very Aaron dangerous, Carl. speculative lob there, but uh, Aaron Carley does well. But uh, centre forward there now for Lynn Barnhill, Mary Carroll sends it and low. And Schaefer Fenland got her hand down yeah. to that one. A very, yeah. very yeah. important interception yeah. by young Schaefer. Yeah. And she needs to just keep her cool now. Schaefer Fenland there uh, was a vital interception. Yeah, no, important interception there by young Schaefer Fenland. Yeah. So it's a free, a free for the Starlights. Uh, Aaron Carley now, the goalkeeper. Aaron had a good save there from that very dangerous very good kick save from that, Sarah that, O'Donoghue. That, that ball was dipping. Yeah, it was. So the ball has gone to the far side of the field. Number 18 for Glyn Barntown is Cora Rowe. So Cora kicks the ball upfield, but it's gone out over the sideline. It's gone so out over the sideline, side so it's a Starlights ball. Starlight now takes the sideline kick, the ball coming a in. Great Anna ball Blood in fairness. Gets her does yeah. well, gets it up to. Uh, That's Lee. Uh, yeah. yeah. Kira O'Connor there. Lee will have to turn on to her back left foot again. It's back to an, an A. A. An, A. an A will She's run really at them. Cutting through the Glen yeah. defence. And back into Lee. Back to Lee. Super score. Yeah. Super, Leah super Walsh. score. Oh, yeah. Lovely score. Yeah. Again, that was actually work from the sideline. Yeah. Do you know, open their own defence. Yeah. And A, Corrin was involved. And in A and Leah, yeah. of course, they're, they, do you know, they play County Camogie together as yeah. well. Yeah. That must be about 1 3 now for Leah Walsh. A fine tally indeed. Yeah, it is a fine tally. Yeah. Um, I think Eamon Byrne on the far side, she actually got a yellow card. I think she's in the sin oh, bin over on the sideline. Yeah. Yeah. So numerically, Glynn have the advantage at the yeah. minute. Starlight still applying the pressure now. Amelia now is on, Amelia she's on her then. wrong side yeah, for her she's left really foot. She's causing problems yeah. when she wins possession, but she slips that time, but still lets it back to Nicola she David. had the presence of yeah, mind to Nicola keep the possession. Uh, kicks with the right boot, but it skews off her boot and goes to the right and wide. Only six minutes left now. Glynn need to get the ball up. Is there seven points in it, Kira? Seven points, seven yeah. Seven points, that's a lot in football. Oh, six points. Six, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, six points. Yeah. It's two seven to yeah, one they four. They need a the score now. They do. Uh, wing back there again. Sheer <laughs> Fenland doing well there for the Starlights. Yeah, uh, and and Kira O'Connor. But Glyn Barnham coming away with it again now. Uh, young Goodness. Donahue there. Sarah, Sarah has Donahue's been good since she came yeah, on. Yeah, she's, she's working her socks off. Yeah, she's been on a lot of ball yeah, now. Yeah, she's been down in defence. Yeah. Helping out. So a free up now for Glyn Barntown. Wing back Neve Cogley to take the free. 
Neil lets it up to yeah, well Leila Stafford. Leila, yeah. Leila will carry this, yeah, Leila. except she has young Amelia Furlong for company yeah. this time round, but Leila has Leila her still strength. Leila still carrying the ball. Yeah. She's a great girl to keep going with the ball. Still Leila Stafford now. Glyn if she can get it across, to help her out. well done. She's fouled yeah. there as she was passing the ball, so it's going to be a free in now for Glyn Barrentown. She's a fine athlete for someone so young, in fairness yeah, to like young Leila. Yeah, yeah, that's all yeah, she, she is. Great you know. game. Yeah. So Rebecca Fanning now to take this free. This will suit her better for a right foot kicker. Just for their own. It's a good I bit I think out. she was tempted, yeah. yeah. Sarah Dunham had made a run at the far side. Yeah. She's caught between yeah. two mines. So Rebecca kicks. Yeah, she, has, she, she has the distance, but it just goes to the left and yeah. wide. She was thinking about putting that ball. Sarah Dunham who had made a brilliant yeah. run on the far side. And I think she was caught in two mines yeah. whether to give it to her or take the free. And Acorn is shouting for this ball now from Erin, but she's taking her time, she's right. Yeah, There's four five minutes, minutes yeah. left, four or five minutes, depending on what uh, stoppage time is <laughs> added on. Erin Carley kicks long this time, but it's the, it's the centre half back there. Josie Mullen wins it for Glyn Barntown. Let's it off to Lara O'Shea, the captain. Number 17 for Glyn Barntown is, is Emma, Emma Kenny. Kenny. Uh, Rebecca Fanning on the ball now. Can Rebecca get a score here now she's again she's after getting to by the starlight score she puts oh. it across the square but no one on the end but Rebecca's got, fouled she was fouled on the way yeah she cut in excellently there didn't she she's done very well yeah, she did in yeah, on, on the end yeah, line she made a lot of ground there she made inroads yeah Sarah O'Donoghue now is going to take the free yeah, she's going to kick it off the ground by the looks yeah. of it Will it be blasting operations when she go for it? No, I think she'll kick it over. Yeah. Although, three minutes left. Yeah. So, Sarah to take the free off the ground. Uh, not many players now kick off the ground. No, with free, there's, a, there's a yeah. couple. Yeah. She'd Sarah always feel that's more accurate, yeah, though. Yeah, but she does very well there yeah. and kicks it over the bar. <gasps> So a two seven to one, one five. five. Back to five point game. It's a five point game. Starlights need to win this kick out now, and you know, <laughs> there's no one actually running. Erin is shouting yeah, that yeah. her teammates there to try get someone to make a run for. Erin has to kick long. Yeah. In fairness, Nicola David have moved yeah, on this side Nicola for her. In under the ball, but the centre half back doing well there for Glenn Josie Mullen. Yeah. Uh, Lara O'Shea trying to get her hands on the ball there, that come out with it with yeah. Aoife McRae I think Aoife, that is yeah. and Nicola, Nicola, Nicola has, has it now she's going to offload yeah. it back Captain to Anna Flood. oh no it's Anna Flood yeah. Yeah. Anna Corn. Anna will hold possession and go she, at them she yeah. orchestrates yeah. everything that happens for Starlight she training. does and she's Still not Anna afraid Korn. she kicks a long ball it has oh. the distance, but it's oh, the goalkeeper. Oh, still dangerous. Leah Walsh is in there, and Leah oh. kicks it across the square, but it goes wide. Again, that look, you might say it's as good as a score, maybe as good at this as a stage. Score. That's true, Kira. Yeah, but uh, an A is orchestrating everything in oh, the, in God, the she, middle of the she park. She dictates there, everything, don't yeah. she? She's a great player. Yeah, once she gets on the ball at all, she's dangerous. Only two or three minutes now left. We're in the closing stages of this county junior A final. The Starlights look to be on their oh, way to winning their first Leah Walsh. Leah Walsh on the ball again now. She Leah with the left boot. Oh, oh it hits the side netting. So Leah oh. very unlucky there in her very last two unlucky, attempts. Yeah, yeah. But she could have been adding Oh, she'd be very annoyed with herself now yeah. because the, it was an empty goal she was shooting yeah. into. Very unlucky. It just yeah. went so to the left. The Starlights wise. have been the dominant team. They have, to be fair. Kira. They just made a better use of possession, yeah. I feel, do you know? Yeah. Like, so it's a le bit of a learning curve for Glyn Barrington yeah. as well. Lara O'Shea but now lets it back to the wing back, uh, Rachel Murphy. <gasps> but they've had a super, super yeah, year, Glyn Barrington, yeah. you know? Kira O'Connor now, now is another flyer. She'll yeah. take him on. Kira's doing very well. Yeah. Kira O'Connor, she just leaves the ball behind her, but wins it back again, <laughs> lets it off to uh, Aoife McRae. Aoife tackled hard there. Yeah. Let's it back to Leah. An A, an a that's an A, a on the ball again. An a, a super kick score. From an a Beautiful kick yeah. and a great score. That's the difference, really, between uh, the two teams. Yeah, that's know. a fantastic score yeah. there from an A corn. 40 yeah. metres out. Yeah. She curled it to perfection. One of the finest scores of the match, surely, from 40 Absolutely, metres. Absolutely, on the yeah. 68th minute. Yeah. 
Uh, that's the icing on the cake for the Starlights. But I think so. Town are not giving up. They're still launching two, another attack. Two eight to one five. Yeah. They need Jane to Hopefully have to get something out of this, but they great, are. There's a girl from, inside. They've two on one here now. If Rebecca they play it right, it into, well that's done. An Number goal. seventeen. Emma that's Kenny. Emma Kenny. Yeah. That, the sub. Yeah, brilliant play there from Glyn Barntown. Not giving up and scoring a goal right on the, nearly the 60th minute. So just it's only three to, points only three in points it. Points it's a three-point game. Starlight were cruising and all of a sudden there's only three points in it. I think that's Emma Kenny that came on from Kilmore. She would have previously played with Kilmore. Yeah. She's she had great presence of mind just yeah. to, to flick that into the net. The 60 minutes are up now, so it's whatever yeah. injury time. It's amazing. After all the play after all the play at the start, Stephen Barnhorn are still only three points and, down. And you hope for their sake that the missed opportunities up at this end is yeah. not going to come back yeah. to bite them. Yeah. But as I keep saying, Glynn are potential. They have the potential. They can score goals. They've scored they goals. Another goal. Yeah. It's, it's they have scored game. goals throughout this championship. It all depends now what time the referee is going to add on. Time is up. We're yeah. going into. I think Roni thinks he's playing himself. Yeah. <laughs> Catty Ford on the sideline is trying to keep Roney yeah, off the pitch, right, but you're yeah, not going to keep him yeah, off the Ronan pitch, I'm Fallen. afraid. D this is a on the attack again. The young Donahue, Sarah Donahue is on the ball. She's made a huge yeah, difference since yeah, she's came in. Yeah, still but Sarah Starlights have won it. Yeah, Starlights lifting the siege again. Is it? An Acorn has the ball now, and the right player has it now at the yeah, right time. She just surely. needs to hold the possession. Yeah, still an A. She lets and if they work it right to have the players, they have an overload on this side. Yeah. If they can just hold the possession and move forward. Ava Farrell there. They've won a free, I think. Yeah. Great credit to Lynn Barrington for making this second half competitive right up to the wire. Yeah. Joe Cullen is in attending one of the, I think it's one of the cornerbacks down there yeah. for yeah. One of the Starlight cornerbacks. Tight hamstrings. That's it. So Ava Farrell now to take this uh, free for the Starlights. Shoot. They're back to 15 now. Emer Doyle oh, Emer Emer back on. is back on yeah. after doing her 10 minutes. Emer lets it back to Ava Farrell. Surely this will secure it now for Starlight. If Emer yeah. Bourne back on the ball it's again. It's important for them yeah. that they hold the possession yeah. and don't kick it away. Leah Kidd on the ball now, centre field. Lee lets it back to the captain, Anna Flood. Anna Flood, yeah. yeah. Anna Flood now soloing down the field. Lets it off to Leah Kidd to again. To Leah Kidd again. Leah lets it in to... It's Amelia Furlong Amelia. is going to get there. And Amelia will take the, this Amelia, on, on her left side. She will. She'll go at them. And she's won her free. She's won her free. Yeah. So. They probably let Amelia take this. She's left foot. Yeah. It's on. Yeah, it suits it's the left foot kicker. Yeah. Left foot kicker. No one is coming over. And it's all about her running time. down. Yeah. yeah she Bit of experience shown yeah. again. If he puts this over, it's surely the insurance point, but yeah. it's a very awkward angle. I here. think it no needs to go dead one way or the other yeah. for Starlights. Yeah. So, uh, and oh. yeah, that's a fine kick, but I think it's gone to the left, is it? No, it's oh, gone over, point. yeah, yeah. Oh, Super kick. From an awkward angle, that was a, yeah. a fine score. Great free taken there from an acorn. That's probably the insurance point now for the Starlights. Yeah, I'd say that's so, a four yeah. point game now, and it'll be. In fairness to Ane, she's been the difference between the two teams. Oh, yeah. Sophie O'Leary there now for Glyn Barnton. Glyn Barnton, full credit to them. They're not giving up. They're no, it's not in their DNA, to be fair to them. Yeah, they're a great bunch of girls after winning yeah. Junior B last year to be so competitive here. Again, a strong Starlights team in this county final. Um, a Sarah Dunne Sarah Dunne on the ball what again. What a revelation she's been since she was brought introduced into this game. Still Sarah O'Donoghue. She's holding up the ball and trying to... She lets it off to, is it Rebecca Fanny? It's, no, it's Emma Kenny oh, that Emma came Kenny on there. Emma Kenny, the to score the great yeah. goal. Still, Emma, she's doing very well too. Emma uh, tunks the ball with the left boot. Uh, Leila going to the ball still. Emma Kenny lets it across to the centre field player. That's a fine Good kick score. there from, By Sarah, Carl. from Sarah Carroll. Sarah yeah. doing well there. So it's back to a three-point game back again. Back to a three-point game yeah. again, but I wonder how much injury time now. Can Lynn Barntown muster a, another goal another and make goal. a draw you this year? Surely time must be close to time, time has up to now. be close. Yeah, wasn't that my, uh, I see the ref now. looking at his watch there now. Is you don't maybe he might blow it after yeah. this. We're four minutes gone into. But it's crucial. Time here now. In fairness, Aaron 
found Eamir Byrne yeah, well Eamir that Bourne time. Help. They, that's it. The referee sounds yeah. the whistle. The Starlights have won by <laughs> three points. A jubilant looking Starlights uh, manager there, Yeah, Kira. absolutely, in yeah. fairness. Look at it's well deserved. Yeah. And, uh, Look I, at what I'm it means really, to them, girls. Yeah, I'm really pleased for Roni because, as I said, he has, over the years, he's put an awful lot of work, him and his backroom team, so I'm delighted for them and I'm delighted for the girls. Hard luck on Glynn, however. Their first defeat of the year, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, but they battle hard yeah. and they will be a force to be reckoned yeah. with if they keep it together for next year, yeah, you know. A, a fine win for the Starlights in this uh, Homestead County Junior A final, but yeah. full credit to Glynn Barntown too. They, they, they were really determined and they pulled up to this. Starlights, but Starlights are victors here yes. in the County Junior A final, and well done, Tom. Well done, I'd say Belfield will be rocking tonight, Pat. Oh yes, <laughs> and Lynn Barnton will have their day surely. In of course the they will. Yeah, look here. at they're very young as well, and yeah, look at. Uh, it was tough on them playing Jews night and playing again today. Yeah. Do you know that that's a very very quick turnaround. Starlights on the other hand, they did have the two weeks to prepare. Yeah. So look but, at but that's the swings and roundabouts of it. Hats off to the Starlights today. Hats off to the Starlights and enjoy the celebration. County Junior A champions. Yeah.